Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike, the Traveling Trucker. Today I want to show you a video of how I get internet in the truck. Uh, I've been asked many times by friends, how am I getting unlimited data when you only get so much tethering on your plants? So, there's a few different routers that you can buy. This one here is the Netgear Nighthawk MR6500. Uh, it's basically a portable hotspot. You would likely have to buy one off of eBay unless you have a business account with AT&T. However, these can be unlocked. This one here is unlocked. I'm going to show you guys how you can unlock it as well so that you could use it with Verizon or T-Mobile. Uh, it also works with any prepaid carrier. But what's so special about this one that's different is this actually will use your phone's data plan instead of your phone's tethering plan. So basically what's, what that means is let's say you have Verizon and you know you get 100 gigabytes of premium data or unlimited data, whichever it is that you have, but you only get 20 gigabytes of hotspot data. So by putting the SIM card in this hotspot, it will recognize as your your phone's data plan which means that even though you only have 20 gigs of tethering you could still easily hit 100 gigabytes without being slowed down to like 2g speeds or whatever you know it is now this one in particular this one i have a tablet line on so with at&t i pay 20 dollars a month and I get unlimited and I when I say unlimited I mean truly unlimited data for 20 bucks a month that's it um, so I'm gonna show you how you do this and I've got screen recording here on this laptop and I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set it up and you can order these on eBay there are a few different ones you can get this is the highest model that you can get but you can get a 4G version I, I I'll try to list in the description a few that you can get also this website that's in front of us now DC unlocker this is a good option uh, to look around to see which devices are supported what you could buy uh, but this one is the top of the line. This is a 5G one, and it, it is portable. Uh, however, with this particular one, it does have an Ethernet jack uh, and a USB-C, plus external antenna slots. So, with this one, I typically just remove the battery, and I plug this into a USB-C plug and you can actually run it without the battery and use it as a normal router inside your truck so this produces wi-fi and it gives my entire truck wi-fi if you're somebody who has an rv this is really really handy for an rv as well or even if you're just somebody who wants to travel um you know this is for educational pur purposes i uh, don't want you to do anything that you're not supposed to do but using we what we're going to be doing is changing the IMEI number on this device now I already did this with here you should be using a device that you own not some random IMEI number that you found it needs to be uh, for example in my case a tablet that I own okay um, I'm not going to share those numbers or anything like that but I will show you exactly how to do the step okay so the first thing on this here you can see MR 6500 okay and you want to take the SIM card out you you have to take the SIM card out I got mine right here all right so take that SIM card out and then you're gonna put this battery back in and I'm not even gonna bother putting the cover on and then you just hold the power button at the top and we'll start it back up and I've already got a USB hooked in. So, while this is starting up, what you want to look up is DC Unlocker. Okay, I got it here on this website, DC Unlocker. 
and this is the home page the first thing you're gonna do is just hit this download over here you're gonna download that and you're gonna get a folder okay there's gonna be a few different things in here all right we'll just put that to the side for now now I'm gonna show you here this is the supported models page and if you go down into Netgear down here at the bottom these are the ones that I recommend the Nighthawk M1, the M5, or the M6. You might want to do your research, decide which one's going to work best for you. The Nighthawk M1 is going to be the cheapest option. And if you just hover over these review sections, it'll tell you a little bit of information. Like the one that I have here, if it's an updated version on 12, this isn't going to work. Now, this one I bought less than a year ago and it's still on version 10 i wouldn't advise updating these netgear hotspots anyways because i there's been a lot of known issues as far as the m1 went so this program here will cost you some money it's not free so you have to consider if you were to buy say an m1 is your cheapest option i i want to say they're like around a hundred dollars on ebay you're going to have to keep in mind it's going to cost money and credits to do this. So, these are made by AT&T or in a locked version of Netgear. You're likely going to get an AT&T model, and if you do, that's okay. So, this one here, for example, supports Direct Unlock, which is SIM Unlock, and the IMEI Repair, which is the two things that we need. Now, what you do is you're going to buy credits, and you just see on the shop, shop credits that's going to bring you here to this page um actually it would be this one now over here if you click how much do i need this pop-up will come up and so in this case you're going to need 29 credits for the netgear imei repair and you can change the imei as many times as you want on that one particular device okay and then lastly, if you want to SIM unlock it so you can use it with a carrier other than AT&T, it is 10 credits for this particular device. Actually, all the M1, the M5, and the M6 are all 10 credits, okay? So 29 and 10, that's 39. Right now, 39 euros comes out to $42.48 in US dollars, okay? So that's how much it's going to cost for you to SIM unlock the AT&T model and do the IMEI repair. And that's all you gotta do to make this forever an unlimited hotspot, okay? Because remember guys, by default, this particular router, if you just throw a SIM card in it, it's only going to use your hotspot data. So if you have 20 gigs of hotspot data, that's all you can use with this. Unless you do these steps I'm gonna show you here, which is $42.48. Doing that, will let you get true unlimited on these types of, of hotspot devices, okay? So, anyways, go ahead and download the software, all right? And then you're gonna wanna create yourself an account by going to your buy credit section over here, do the item as a new user account, create any kind of username that you'd want, and then you're gonna pick 39 credits, fill out the information, and make the payment okay when you do this you're going to get an email with your password so you're not allowed to actually set a password with DC unlocker you're just gonna have to use whatever code they give you just like some random password okay now once you got all that you're ready to go and we can start doing this whole process here okay so once you've downloaded the software, you're going to get a folder to extract. You, you know, you should just have a little extract button or you can just click on it. But you're going to be opening this program here called DC Unlocker to Client. All right. Just double click it. And this is going to start up the software, which is how we're going to do the IMEI repair. Okay, so we have our hotspot connected now to the computer and the DC unlocker ready to go. Before I start with the directions, please, again, I know I say this a lot, but you have no idea how much it means. If you could hit the like button now and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Anyways, we've got everything hooked up. The first thing we want to do is set up our 
network priority settings. And the reason for this is when this is attached to the computer, it's recognized as USB-C tethering. All right, and that means it's gonna use this for internet, but we have no SIM card or no service in this. So the problem is, is when we go to our server menu here and hit check login, it has to connect to the internet to verify our account and make sure that we have credits on. And what we're gonna do is come down to the bottom right over here where our Wi-Fi symbol is, right click, open network and internet settings. In here, you're looking for change adapter options. All right, and a few things we're gonna do is notice we have an ethernet and we've got Wi-Fi and there's a few other ethernets with these X symbols. We don't need these. We're gonna change the priority of each of these. So the first one here, we'll do ethernet three. I'm gonna right click it. Let's go down to properties and then internet protocol version four, double click it. Then at the bottom right, click advanced. And down here, you should have auto metric checked. So what I want you to do is uncheck it in an interface metric, you're gonna put the number nine. Now what do that, that's gonna do is put the priority on the ethernet port at the lowest priority setting. Because remember, this is acting as an ethernet, but it has no internet. So we put nine, hit okay, okay, okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our Wi-Fi. So right click, properties. Again, internet protocol version four, double click. Click advanced at the bottom right. Again, auto metric will be checked for you. Uncheck it. And then interface metric, we're gonna put one. That means that it's the highest priority. So the internet is gonna come from the Wi-Fi before our ethernet. We'll hit okay. Okay again, and okay again. Now you can go ahead and close these out and come back into the program. So when I click on the server tab and, you know, here you're going to enter your username and your password that was emailed to you. Mine's already here, so I'm just going to hit check login. And as you can see, it was able to connect and it shows my username and my credits are zero. Now for you, it's going to say 39 credits or 29 credits if you're not going to do the SIM unlock. All right, once you see this, you're good. The program's connected to the internet and we know the device is connected to our computer, as you can see. So now we're going to pick select manufacturer. I'm gonna click here on this dropdown and pick Sierra Netgear, Sierra Wireless slash Netgear. For the model, it's on auto detect. Go ahead and leave it just like that. And then this little magnifying glass button, it's called detect modem, go ahead and click that. We're just waiting for it to load up. Okay, so now our details of our device is here. I'm gonna go ahead and blur out the section because my IMEI is in here as well. Now that's the IMEI that's programmed to this hotspot here. And for you, it's gonna show the IMEI on the sticker in the back. All right, so first up, if you chose to do unlocking and you bought the extra credits for unlocking, let's do that. If you didn't, you can just skip this step, but you're gonna click the unlocking tab at the top and you have two buttons in here. The first one you're gonna click is network unlock. Mine's grayed out because this device is already SIM unlocked, but you're gonna go ahead network unlock, hit okay. It'll give you some information down here confirming that the network unlock was successful. After that, we're gonna go to our advanced tab. And in our advanced tab, we're looking for the repair IMEI option. So go ahead and click this. Give it a second for the pop-up to come, come in. All right, so we got this box for the new IMEI. Now, what you wanna do is make sure you're using an IMEI from a tablet that has a SIM card slot. It doesn't matter what the carrier is, could be T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, it doesn't matter. And this IMEI you can usually find on the back of the tablet or in the about phone settings. Now, real quick, if you have a 5G uh, hotspot like I do, you're going to want to use a 5G tablet for your IMEI. If you choose to use a 4G tablet, then you'll be stuck to a maximum of 4G on a 5G device like this. 
Now, if you have the Nighthawk M1, that's a 4G only device. You can use a 4G or a 5G one. It really doesn't matter. You'll get just 4G on that one. But this one here, I used a Galaxy Tab that has 5G access for my IMEI. Another thing to keep in mind, this IMEI that you're using means that you can't use the SIM card slot on that tablet anymore if you're still using this. All right, you don't want a SIM card in that device and a SIM card in this device because it'll cause issues with the carrier and mess up your internet connection. All right, so go ahead and put in your new IMEI number for the tablet that you're going to be using. And when you're done, hit OK. When you hit OK, it's going to verify and give you some information that it was successful. Once that happens, you can go back to the detect modem button and just click that again. And what you should notice is that the IMEI number will now be the one that you put in there. All right. So when you're done all that, now we can go ahead and unplug our hotspot, remove the battery, and put our SIM card in. Now we can put the battery back in, and I'll throw the cover on, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, it takes a minute. Okay, so this is booting up now. In a minute, when it does, I'm going to go ahead and show you me connecting to it on the computer. And I'll show you the settings on the phone too, so you can see that I am connecting to the same actual network. And again, while we're waiting, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It really means a lot. It helps out so much. You have no idea. And if you found the video useful, or if you have any questions, anything like that, you want to leave a comment below. I do reply within 24 hours. I, I take my channel pretty serious here. So, again, if this was a really helpful video so far, please hit the like and the subscribe button. So, we are at the AT&T logo screen here. It's about ready to start up. And I'm not really sure if you can see that, guys, but it does take a few minutes for these to boot up, but they're not bad. All right, so we're connected, and I'm not sure if you can see, but we've got AT&T, 5G, and full signal. I'm going to swipe up, and I want to show you if you can see here. The Wi-Fi name and the password are right here. This is the Fosta Logistics. Okay. So I'll put that over here. And on the computer, I'm going to move down into our Wi-Fi. And it may take a second for this one to pop up. Sometimes it takes like a minute or two. But we're going to wait for that one to come up. I'm going to connect to it. And then we're going to do a quick speed test. Uh, right now, I'm in a congested area. So my speeds are a bit slow. I don't want you to get confused and think that this is the normal with what we're doing it, it this is not 2g speeds we are getting true 5g speeds okay now let's see if we've got it and there it is we've got one and fossil logistics let's go ahead and connect to this network all right we are connected and i'm just going to open up a quick tab here Actually, no, we got a speed test here. Let's go ahead and hit the start button and let's see what we get. So yeah, as you can tell, my speeds are a bit slow right now, but this is definitely not 2G speeds. And it definitely isn't 5G speeds either, but Again, that's just because I'm in a congested area right now, so it's a little bit more difficult for me to get some actual reliable speed results. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, you can put any SIM card you want in here, as long as it's a tablet plan. 
um, it, it does not matter if it's T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. You don't ever need to do anything else with this again. It's just as simple as you throwing a SIM card in it, turn it on, and it's good to go. All right, guys, you take it easy.